sa inyo lahat. Ako ay si Ben Gloria Jr. Pagkaklase kami ni Ben Dia sa Siliman. Grade 1, maybe up to grade 3. And then, the family moved on, I think, to either Albay or to Eagle or to Mindanao. And I never had an opportunity to meet him again. This was about 1946 or 47. And till um, 1958, when he found me at UP, he found me, he looked for me. And I asked him, how do you know that I'm here? Oh, I saw your name in the list of those who placed very well in the freshman aptitude test. So that's how I came to meet Ben again. Uh, before I continue about Ben, actually, I will be talking more to those of you who may have not experienced the loss of a loved one. There is virtually nothing I can tell the family who have lost them. They know it. But I wonder about those of you who have not. And so I have here a collection of some poems which I shall read to you. The first one is Along the Road by Robert Browning Hamilton. I walked a mile with pleasure. She chattered all the way, but left me none the wiser for all she had to say. I walked a mile with sorrow, and ne'er a word said she, but oh, the things I learned from her when sorrow walked with me. So I believe uh, those of you who have not experienced sorrow, you will learn what sorrow will teach you. Now, I was totally shocked to receive the text of uh, Oji that then had passed. I recall seeing him at the Kapihan, I guess, about two years ago, and shortly after that we had dinner and uh, lunch together. And I was hoping to hear I, my mistake. Anyway, to let you know how I felt about that text, I have here a point written by Charles Hanson Down. It's called Around the Corner. Around the corner, I have a friend in this great city that has no end. Yet days go by and weeks rush on. And before I know it, a year is gone and I never see my old friend's face. For life is a swift and terrible race. He knows I like him just as well as in the days when I rang his bell and he rang mine. We were younger then. And now we are busy, tired men, tired with playing a foolish game, tired of trying to make a name. Tomorrow, I say, I'll call on Jim, I'll call on Ben, just to show that I'm thinking of him. But tomorrow comes, and tomorrow goes, and the distance between us grows and grows. I around the corner, yet miles away. Here's the text. Ben died today. And that's what we get and deserve in the end. Around the corner. A vanished friend.
My point for Ben, and for those of you who are here, is this. There is no death. Unfortunately, the author is unknown. There is a plan far greater than the plan you know. There is a landscape broader than the one you see. There is a haven where storm-tossed souls may go. You call it death. We, immortality. You call it death. This seeming endless sleep. We call it birth. The soul at last set free. This hampered not by time or space, you weep. Why weep at death? This immortality. Farewell, dear Voyager. It will not be long. Your work is done. Now may peace rest with thee. Your kindly thoughts and deeds, they will live on. This is not death. This immortality. Farewell, dear Voyager. The river winds and turns. The cadence of your song wafts dear to me. And now you know the thing that all men learn. There is no death. There's immortality. So my message is basically for those of you who are here tonight who have not experienced sorrow. Tonight, when you go home, or if your loved one is beside you, turn to the loved one and tell them how much you love them. Before it's too late. Because, as Margaret E. Sangster said, it isn't the thing you do here. It's the thing you live and done, which gives you a bit of heartache at the setting of the sun. Good night.